Hey, what's up everybody? This is Power Glove Pixels. Today I bring you a new video. Today I'm going to be talking about the Nintendo Switch and about how powerful is this system going to be? You know, my concerns about how powerful is it going to compare um, when the Scorpio and the PlayStation Pro. So let's do that. So the Nintendo Switch has to be powerful enough to run big triple a games if it can't do that then it's a concern now if nintendo can make a system where the games are look good you know then i won't have no problems with that but it has to be powerful enough and it seems that either nintendo is in the wrong thing and not understanding what consumers want you know it just drives me nuts you know honestly and i just hope that nintendo can pull this off honestly because if they don't, then I think that Nintendo is going to go third party. And I kind of see the same thing how it was with Sega. Um, they just need to, they just need to make, they got to make the system powerful enough to run these games. And I don't know, I just, it's a big concern for me, you know, on, in terms of um, graphics, honestly, you know. How is it going to compare to the Scorpio? How is it going to compare to the PlayStation Pro, you know? rumors are saying that it's going to be not even xbox one and that is a concern because third party eventually that's you know games are going to have demand more horsepower and you know it just seems nintendo is in the wrong thing and they're going into a marketing uh of, of handhelds and it, it just oh my god it just it kind of drives me crazy that nintendo doesn't really understand and a lot of the decisions that they do are from japan honestly they're the ones that make the decisions and they've been doing these mistakes for a very long time for a long long time i should say um since the nintendo 64 i would say because back then they made a bet that you know cartridges but you know honestly everybody was moving into uh, a cd cd roms and you know they couldn't bring final fantasy 7 so it went to the PlayStation and that was a big, big mistake. Then they released the Nintendo GameCube. They go again with this mentality of uh, releasing these small CD-ROMs and they could hardly fit in information. So I really don't know. Nintendo always tries to do something so different, but it's to the point where it kind of hurts them. It damages them uh, as a company. And I don't really know what it is. It would have been different, for example, if the Nintendo 64 came out right back in, in that time and there were cartridges, for example, and those cartridges were the same 600 megabytes like a, like a CD-ROM, then that wouldn't have been a problem. Or for example, if the, if the GameCube, those little discs would have hold the same thing as a DVD, uh, which was 4.7, I believe, and, and it was dual layer, it would have been more, then that wouldn't have been a problem. But it seems that they're always doing these decisions that it, it, they try to cut corners i don't know what the hell they're doing honestly and a lot of times I, I just don't know i just don't know and i just hope with this new nintendo switch which i by the way i'm picking up on day one i'm excited but you know i just have concerns for it about it's um i was just say third party support you know and you know i just want it to be successful you know what i mean i don't want nintendo to go third party you know but they got to make a system that is worth, you know, playing and, and, and buying, you know, for the consumer. And um, from the video that we saw, uh, I kind of got the, the understanding that it's different. You know, they're trying to go into a different image. You know, I remember in the past with the Wii and the Wii U, they would show family and kids. And it seems with this new system uh you know they're going towards a different audience and um you know i just hope that nintendo can pull it off and it kind of sucks because we're not going to get no more information until i believe next year according to nintendo and um i just hope that they reveal their specs and you know the other stuff that's coming so let me know down below what do you guys think of the nintendo switch do you guys like it do you guys hate it are you guys gonna pick one up or maybe you guys are picking up a playstation pro or a scorpio i would like to know that as well um what do you guys think of the future of nintendo do you guys think that the nintendo switch is gonna be very successful and everybody's gonna want one is this really the future what i leave you with with you guys so this is pretty much it for the video Thanks for watching. This is Power Glove Pixel signing out till next time.